this is this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? This should be the round of the century. I was not supposed to win this. So now you guys are listening because we did win, and I can glorify God the way I want to glorify Him. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, quick hits. I'm going to do one more show, uh, this Tank Davis. Thing. I'm going to get a lot of haters um, in regards to you know my take on, on Tank, and I, I was just going to go over it again and explain why I, I, I think it was a pretty good performance. Before we do that, please share, like, and subscribe. Share on all from social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, please subscribe to our other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Please help us get it up and running and monetize as quickly as possible. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, I, I thought Tank's performance was good. Um, I, I look, not every performance you're gonna, you're gonna get a spectacular knockout. Not every you know performance is gonna be amazing and stunning, and, and not every performance is gonna be you know, an A+. You're not going to stop every fighter. You're not going to stop every fighter spectacularly like he's been doing. Um, that doesn't mean it's not a good performance. I thought it was a very good performance. Um, Tank showed a lot of things. Right, Just go to the 12th round. Tank it, uh, hurts his hand on a break. Well, I, I haven't seen a follow-up report on that. But has, has a noticeable hand injury. Can't throw the left hand. So he's just jabbing, jabbing with the right hand off the back foot. And he went around that way, around that Cruz needed to win. In a very competitive fight that was seemingly not over on the scorecards, like not out of doubt on the scorecards, right? Tank needs that round. Cruz needs that round. Cruz needs it more, right? And Cruz goes go, goes gets aggressive. Tank fights up the back foot with a jab, wins the round over a good volume, over a good pressure fighter. It's like in, in a round that he needs. That's a good job. You know, um, Tank needs to throw the jab more, but he's got a good jab. He can move. He's and speaking of going backwards. Right, like Tank's a guy that comes forward, comes forward, comes forward. He was going backwards, ripping the uppercut, going backwards, firing off combinations, going backwards. Nobody gets that. He he doesn't throw combinations. He throws one at a time. He throws one at a time too much. That's true. But he was throwing combinations. Go back and watch. He doesn't throw enough. I, I, I'll grant that. But he was certainly throwing in combination. Um, and when he did that, going backwards, he was doing it with power. And he was doing it pretty precisely. And he was doing pretty crisp, clean combinations. Um, so there was that. He also is fighting a guy, Isaac Cruz, who no one wants to fight. Right? People aren't lining up to fight Cruz. It's the same way that people weren't lining up to fight William Zepeda when Tanahara fought him. Right? So he did it, and he took care of him. He won the fight in a really, really competitive fight. Isaac Cruz is really good. He's a really good lightweight. Um, he's going to be in the mix of that division for a long time. As long as he can keep making the weight, he's going to be in the mix. Top 10 guy in the weight class. And Tank took care of business. Eastside Cruz put a lot of pressure on him. Um, you saw Tank coming forward at times. You saw Tank going backwards at times. You saw Tank boxing. You saw him throwing combinations, right? You saw him do a lot of good things. He, he shows you gears and things that you didn't know that he had. He can fight going backwards. He does fire off pretty Chris playing combination and then the counter punching, right? Like we don't think of Tank as a counter puncher, but he's a very good counter puncher, and we saw that, right? We think of Tank as the aggressor. Tank is first. Tank show, you know, with the straight left hand and stuff early in the fight, like Tank was on the money. The uppercut. Tank is a good, good counter puncher. His counter punches are, are clean and crisp and accurate, and it lands on the button, right? So, um, well, I, I feel like we've known that already. I just don't think it gets called out enough. Tank's ability to counter punch. Um, you know, Tank's a good, Tank's a really complete fighter. Um, there's things that he can fix, right? He needs to jab more. Um, uh, he needs to throw in combination, more, but he can do these things. He just, it's a matter of actually going out and doing, because he has the skill, not just go out there and do it. He can jab. He showed that in the 12th, right? He can, he can go backwards. He can circle. He can, he can win rounds with his jab. Um, I don't know that he wants to fight that way over a long period of time, but in spots when he needs to, he can. And he can do it really well. Um, going backwards, um, not something we knew that he could do. Can, you know, we know when he comes forward, he's got power. But how is his power going backwards? It's pretty good. 
you know, landing, fighting shots, hurting his opponent, throwing combination, going backwards. Um, so, I mean, yes, every time Tank gets in the ring, you know, we, we, we want to think of him as a mini Mike Tyson. He's going to go in there. He's going to explode. He's going to knock people out. You know, it, it's not it's not the reality of the matter. You're not going to blow everyone out. Isak Cruz is a good fighter who no one wants to fight. No one wants to fight him for a reason because he, he, that he does that to you. Tank got through the day. Tank won the last round off the jab with an injured hand in a, in a round that Cruz needed to win. Like he needs to get credit for these things. Well, I, I, all around, am I if I'm giving him a grade? I, I think it's a B plus or an A minus performance from Tank Davis. It's a good performance. I really feel that way. Like. Um, you know, where does Tank go from now? I I, I think Tank, you know, it, it sucks. A lot of the talent over there at 35, you know, Cambosis, I'd love to see him fight. Tiffany Lopez at 140 or 35, I'd love to see him fight. Uh, Lomachenko is obviously a fight we've been talking about for a couple of years. I love, I, I, I don't know the reality of these fights. Michael, uh, Michelle Rivera, I, I guess, is an option. You know, I, can he, Chris Colbert is a great fight, you know, but I, I, at 35, can Chris Colbert do that? Um, I, I don't know, um, but those are good fights, um, and it's interesting to see you know the the new gears and gadgets that Tank Tank does have that we haven't seen in the past. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow me on also form of social media, three D boxing, three D boxing blog. Quick hits comes at you tw- uh, every day, eight to ten minutes a day. Keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, Ivan Calderon is still in the Boxing Hall of Fame. We find out in just a couple of hours if he's going to get in uh, in this class. Uh, it is December 6, 2021, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.